The Punch It add on in tool has been updated, and you can now access it directly from the Face Context menu via Control F. This is, of course, in addition to the Extrude pop up menu via Alt E if you have this key mapped, or the Punch It sidebar panel, or via the Shift E key map by default. This can be useful if you don't remember the key map because you use it infrequently, or if you disable it so it's available for something else. Now, the extrusion direction methods are as before averaged face normal, vertex normal, or along any edge you pick. But I actually want to punch horizontally here, and I don't have an edge to pick from, because this one is going up, this is going down. I don't have a horizontal edge. And what I can do now is use the new fourth option, cursor space. For that, you just have to set and align your cursor first. In my case, I snap it to that top edge here, which will result in this horizontal x-axis. If you don't have hypercursor to do this, you could do it from the machine tools cursor in Origin Pi, but you would have to lose your selection and have to select this edge first. Otherwise, use one of Blender's native cursor tools. Or you could also just align the cursor with the world origin, which would also work for this case here. Also, if I punch now, you'll notice that, as before, the tool disables all modifiers, but now no longer disables the Auto Smooth mod. And that is because temporarily disabling modifiers is done to allow you to see the geometry as it really is. And if we were to disable Auto Smooth as well, then that would actually make it harder to see what's going on due to the smoothing being so extreme. So Auto Smooth is kept on. By default, this mod is called Smooth by Angle, by the way. But it doesn't matter how you name it. Anyway, back to cursor space punching. If you enable it via the C key, the best aligned cursor axis is chosen automatically. Best aligned with the average face normal, that is. So in this case, X, which is also what I wanted, perfectly horizontal. But you can also pick the other axes via the Y or Z keys, of course. Let's punch again and again in cursor space. And now it picks the Z axis, which is the most aligned one now, and also what I wanted. Notice how there's now a new option in the Auto Cleanup section called Redundant, which removes redundant edges, and you can toggle it via the X key. With it disabled, you would be left with some garbage edges that you'd likely want to remove manually. But now Auto Cleanup will take care of it and leave you with a single big face here. And note that the redundant edge removal only affects this area of your extrusion. If you were to have redundant edges here, or here, then these would be completely ignored and left alone because the tool doesn't want to overreach and remove more than you want it to. And we could actually punch this big face back a little too. Let's mirror that over. and increase the auto smooth angle. Very nice. Also in the 3D View sidebar panel, you now have the Get Support tool and documentation links, including FAQs, local docs, and YouTube, all in sub panels. And you can disable these by toggling this little help button here. 